To no one's surprise, the Blazers once again have let down Damian Lillard. With the third overall pick, Portland selected Scoot Henderson in the 2023 NBA Draft. In a vacuum, this was a great selection. Getting a guy who could have gone one in most drafts at three seems like a dub. Scoot is a talented point guard full of potential. But this decision raises eyebrows considering the Blazers already have two talented point guards. Superstar Damian Lillard and even Anthony Simons. This is yet another example of the Blazers continuing to be stuck in no man's land and not being willing to take any risk. They didn't trade the pick, but they also didn't trade Dame, which as a Dame fan myself is super frustrating because it felt like you had to do one or the other. When Dame was drafted in 2012, the Blazers were full of potential, primarily due to the presence of all-star LaMarcus Aldridge. Dame even went on to win Rookie of the Year. But as Aldridge and the other supporting players moved on, Dame became the team's cornerstone, carrying the weight of the franchise. Despite Dame's consistent excellence, the Blazers have failed to build a supporting cast capable of actually contending. From 2014 to 2021, Lillard led the Blazers to the playoffs every single time. A lot of those times, they had no business being there. Even in 2019, the year they were somehow able to make it to the Commerce Finals, Lillard hit that miraculous shot against the Thunder. Nobody thought for a second that they had a real shot of making it to the Finals, even with them going against the KD last Golden State Warriors. One of the biggest reasons for this is that the best player Lillard had by his side the whole time was CJ McCollum. While CJ was a reliable scorer and contributed significantly to the Blazers' offense, he wasn't the superstar that Dame needed by his side to seriously compete. Furthermore, McCollum and Dame's similar sizes left the Blazers vulnerable on defense, another flaw in the team's construction. When McCollum left, Anthony Simons filled his shoes, yet replacing one small guard with another didn't solve anything. If anything, things only got worse from there. Obviously, Portland is not the sexiest free agent destination which has arguably been their biggest downfall, as it has forced them to overplay players in order to sign them. And the worst part about it is that we're not talking about star players, we're talking about above average role players. The only efficient way that they could have possibly gotten talent is to consistently hit on their picks, as well as make really good trades along the way. But as we all know, that's never really happened. The Blazers' repeated attempts of assembling mediocre rosters around Dame, their lack of significant success in free agency or trades, and even their latest draft decisions all point towards a distressing pattern. Last year, after realizing they weren't going to make any noise in the West, the team decided to tank. Obviously, Dame wasn't too pleased with this decision due to his age and hunger to win, but he reluctantly agreed with a promise to trade the high draft pick for a star. Instead, they went ahead and drafted a point guard, leaving fans and presumably Dame with more questions. Looking at the situation, it looks like they only really have three options. The first option is to trade them to a title contending team, the one that almost everybody, including myself, are pretty much begging the Blazers to do. Teams like the Miami Heat offer the possibility of a shot at a championship for Lillard, while also offering John Talley in return, such as Tyler Hero, who can be a major contributor to the Blazers' rebuilding phase. This will be beneficial for everybody involved. Lillard has had great connections around the NBA for a while, and any contender will welcome him with open arms. And with the young talent already on board, plus the one that will receive in the trade, the Blazers could easily pivot into the rebuild. The second option is to trade Scoop, along with other assets for an established superstar. Although this is Dame's preferred option, it's easier said than done. First of all, there's the willingness of other franchises to part ways with their superstars. We've seen rumors of Paul George and Bam Adebayo, which are extremely unlikely. Second of all, even if such a trade materializes, it still does not guarantee a championship, given the stack competition, as well as one superstar, is probably not enough. Even with all that being said, Scoot's potential could have the Blazers regretting that decision for years to come. How many Clipper fans wouldn't want Shea or PG right now? Lastly, the Blazers could just opt to stake with what they have, and this was sadly is most likely going to happen. This would involve retaining Dame, keeping Alfred and Simons, obviously Henderson's on the way, and perhaps or paying to keep Jeremy Grant. This will lead them to a respectable team that's going to have a chance of making the playoffs. And School Henderson is going to be learning from one of the best players in the NBA. But in terms of achieving the ultimate goal of a championship, it will lead them with no real chance. Ultimately, it's really hard to say what the Blazers will do. They have consistently fallen short of providing Dame with the support he deserves. Dame's legacy deserves better. 
I know he's a guy that's all about the grind. But one person can only do so much. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, and comment down your thoughts on what you think the Blazers are going to end up doing. Peace out.